Alright, Sean here, and today we're doing an unboxing video of the Garmin Vavo Active 3 Music. It's uh, the successor to the uh, Vivo Active watch. Mine conked out the uh, couple of weeks back, and uh, it's a fairly robust watch though. I've been uh, using this daily for like three exercises a week, uh, lasted me almost four years. So this is next in the lineup after the second one. So yeah, I kind of like missed two generations in there. Got this off on Amazon for just uh, under 220 USD, including shipping. So uh, let's check it out. All right, so box-wise, um, well, we have the product showed here. The big difference between the previous version is, of course, the circular face in place of the rectangular face over here. Similarly, you don't get uh, any Garmin branding on it, just like the ones here. Only the ones at the back here, as well as on the strap right over here. So let's get to it. Um, very simple box layout, you know, the side profiles on the side of the watches. You get um, one button, which is visible on the right here, and none on the left. Some specs at the back, it's a battery life of 7 days. Waterproof up to 5 ATM and this one being the music version has music streaming built in so if you have like a Bluetooth um, Headphones, you know stereo headphones you can simply just pair these up there and without a phone More warning information and let's just get to it and see what's inside that Alright, so the box is held down by one label over here So it's just gonna snip this up And yep, and it pops up just like that. Ta da! Alright, Garmin Connect app. Alright, so I think that's the first thing it's supposed to do, it's supposed to like pair it. So everything in the box is cardboard. All oh, this is cardboard here. The watch is held in place by a kind of flimsy looking foam like material around here. Alright, nothing else in the box here. So just put it in there. The brooch is really light, you know, it's just under 40 grams, about 38 grams. It feels really toy-like, um, but it's one of the selling features of it, I guess. Um, most watches, smart watches, especially those with metal bodies, weigh in over 50 grams. It probably gives you a bit more of a heft, you know, like say this old Casio watch I have here. Metal does really make it look, uh, feel a lot more hardy. But light watches are good too, especially if you're running quite a bit. So, right, circular dial, single button, and the back here we have a heart rate monitor sensor, right, your GRDs here, a charging port, similar to the previous uh, Vivo Active with the three ports here, right, but uh, do note that the charging port size is a bit different, so you'll be quite out of luck uh, using your old charges uh, included with the old watch on on this new model here you probably have to refresh and get a whole new set of charges which is a pain because i have one for work uh, one charger placed at work and one at home so i probably have to just get a couple of spares to replace them all uh, you get a plastic rubberized plastic like um, strap here and uh, it's a standard 20 millimeter strap which you can quickly remove using one of the, the latches here so as you can see so you can easily swap out um, straps you know like say if you're going to do sports and swimming where you're going to have a lot of sweat and a whisk then this is probably more ideal than say one with a link watch uh, link strap like the ones here but there are options which you can pair a standard 20 meter 20 millimeter um, uh, link type strap onto this as well, probably in black and uh, it's kind of nice that uh, Garmin made this standard so that uh, you can easily swap out watches based on your occasions Alright, well also the plus point of having a circular dial is that um, you can make it both uh, an analog display as well as a traditional digital display 
So it's kind of nice that um, you can easily pair it with um, whatever clothing you have, you know. And this is like a four color uh, LCD screen. So that's on from the watch itself. Let's check out what's else in the box here. So it's all cardboard. Alright. Um, nothing much in here. Just a holder. And get a lid in here. Oh, an instruction manual. A pretty hefty instruction manual. Pretty thick. Um, yeah, it has uh, pretty much everything in here. It's in verbal, verbal, it's available in a variety of languages. So, pretty much everything you need to know about the watch is found in the first 15 pages before it goes into another language. Yeah, so pretty much the manual is just this thin, the rest of it is just in a variety of other languages. Yeah, that's so much for this. I believe this is warranty information. Yep, just more of this stuff, standard stuff. And the last item in the box is what do we have here. Ah, it's a charging cable in one of these sleeves here. So that's two of them in there. So what do you get in the box? Um, just pretty much everything you see here. Then the watch itself, the instruction manual, some warranty information, and a charging cable. That's everything in there. Do take note that the charging cable is new as well. Uh, it's a lot simpler than the previous Vivo Active chargers. So similarly, uh, you get four ports. Yep, a um, micro USB-C-ish light connector, but it's actually more proprietary than USB-C. And that snaps on right here like that. So it's definitely a lot more uh, stronger. You can even hold the whole watch out with this. It beats uh, the previous charger where snapping it in doesn't mean that it's actually charging. You have to verify it actually it's charging or not. But uh, it's kind of nice. Yeah, and then standard USB connector in there. Presumably the four pins of the USB connector is extended through here as well. So you could actually just modify this and get like the body cables and stuff like that. So same waterproof layout. Uh, you get the uh, QR code, the name, the model, C information, as well as a made in Taiwan uh, sign here. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Let's power it up. And here's the boot up sequence, the Garmin logo, and it vibrates. It just vibrates at the moment. I believe this watch should come pre-charged with uh, approximately 30% battery life you know, because that's the optimal amount to have it charged uh, before putting it for long-term storage especially in retail so this is a touchscreen and let's choose English and repair the phone probably not yet and let's get started select options so just running through the startup uh, sequence you're definitely metric and imperial and then of course Birth year. Oh my god, no, I won't do that. How do I go back? Nope, I'll probably set that later. 175, around 65 kilos. Oh, wait a minute. And I wear my watch on my right hand. I like my time in 12 hour format. And I definitely like synchronization for my watch. Let's try to find some satellites. Screen visibility is not too bad, as you can see. It's a bit of reflections, but uh, uh, able to still view it pretty well. well. Do we need to actually connect to a satellite now? Probably not now, right? Yeah, probably not now. I can enter the local time now, so it's like 12.50, yep. And probably set that a bit later. Yeah, da 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 da. Yep. All right. Setup complete. So that's the full initial startup process. And that. So, like the Vivo Active, you can swipe up and down to go through your various apps. Yes, I know that. Well, yep. 
So this is like the song thingy, let me see. So pressing this goes back. You can scroll, you can favorites. Pressing and holding this brings up all your favorites menu. Yep, and that's configurable. You can press it to go back. You can press and hold to change your watch faces. You get a variety of choices here, digital and analog displays as well. Pretty much it. And then of course there's a nice uh, indicator slider right now here to show you how far in the menu have you gone on the H onto the end and then it, it, it loops back if you were to go over and then comes back down again. Pretty nice. Alright, so I think that's uh, pretty much the uh, first impressions of and the unboxing video of the Garmin. Ooh, I can see it's heart rate monitor has been lit up. So let's try. So I put it on here. Let's see if I can get any nice vital information on it. Weekly. Aha, uh -huh, and there you have it. It's giving me a nice pulse reading of 61 beats per minute. I say initial measurement. Alright, let's work in. Says our climb is 20 meters. Ooh, no, not now. Not now. Now you get the music controls right up here on your whisk. Pretty cool. And yep, I guess that's it. So, yep, that's again. It's a good first impressions. I'll be uh, wearing this watch and doing a couple of exercises uh, over the next couple of weeks. And uh, I'll be writing a full review on this watch. Uh, past the first impressions but yeah that's uh the first look of the vivo active 3 music gonna be putting on its paces pairing up like uh, with bluetooth stereo headsets testing its audio quality and stuff like that so all right i think that's about it if you like the video do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe for more sean here i will check back with you again in the next video sean out